Hello YouTube, in this video I am going to show you a review of Hydrogen OS for OnePlus 3. Get settings menu, about form, you can find I am running on Hydrogen OS version 2.0.0 which is based on Android version 6.0.1 Marshmallow. As you can see here in the main screen, it's more like Xiaomi's MIUI based interface without any app drawer here and then actually this hydrogen OS is for the Chinese customer and for the international customers OnePlus releasing the Oxygen OS. You can see that uh, it's very smooth and, and uh, it's like a different kind of interface not like the stock Android look that we can see in Oxygen OS. So let's go and check out the features of this ROM. So, First of all, this is the user interface. There is no app drawer. All the icons will be here. And if you want to create folders, you can do that by. So this is the sample folder. And then bring down. You won't be getting the toggles. Instead, you need to do this. So you can see all the toggle menus, all the icons here, like torch, ca calendar, clock camera settings and then all the toggle buttons and then if you swipe up you can actually edit and add all these toggles and then here is the brightness control down below so it's pretty neatly arranged it looks really nice if you click on the this icon you can get this kind of cards this is the calendar card and then one plus card and then the other notes if you want to create node you can do from there this is it will show you the time and then day if you drag if you click and hold and then you will get different kinds of uh, clock interfaces and then you can choose background image from here and then you can also choose the theme color so these are the options you will get for the desktop customization then if you go to the settings menu you can find these are the regular settings like NFC and all then dual sim settings you can play with and this is the three key zen mode it's like we have this slider so if you slide this one you can see the nicely arranged user interface actually and then for the volume down this is the volume down up and animations so that is there and then you can customize these features from here like if you want to turn on the vibration you can do that this is sound, display, we have adaptive uh, brightness and then ambient display, let's go and check out the ambient display, so this is the ambient display, color temperature control, and then here is one option called uh, a read mode you can turn on the read mode so it will dim the light and then if you want a uh, light mode you can go for the light mode but I prefer using dark mode so I choose dark mode and then button backlight and other options from the display and then we can customize the fingerprint and everything app notification change if you click on this one it will open the app notification management you can go with the priority display so only the allow the apps can see the screens and then these are the different options you can customize and then apps and permissions here is the app step management permission management and here is the IQ settings so here we have this uh, button customization for the left-handed and right-handed so we can swap the button action and then here is a schedule to turn on power on and off button so you can specify a particular time for your phone to power on and off press power button to twice to back camera so our button twice will open the camera like this camera interface is just like the oxygen noise not much different same settings and everything and then double tap to wake screen these are the 
screen of gestures Vol volume control music volume control for the screen of gestures and then flip to mute three finger screenshot that is how you can take the screenshot using the three finger screenshot and then pocket mode is there so see again so this is the pocket mode so your phone screen won't turn on if the phone is in pocket so these are the nice options and here you can see the battery related like if you want to see the battery percentage here you can go for that and then battery optimization settings you'll get and uh, telling about the battery it's giving me a really good battery like around for more than four hours of screen on time with moderate use so it's a really good and then language and import options others like USB storage or TA can turn on from here and user manual how to use all these settings you can get it from here so these are the settings you can find in settings menu and here is the weather application and then calendar gallery gallery is just like same like uh, oxygen noise gallery clock and camera we already discussed uh, this is the phone diver so you can see contacts and you can play with the, all these settings here my contacts all these things are here and then here is the blacklist and more harassment filter also so you can go through this one you can change a sim card like this and messaging application notes file manager and here is a manage center here you'll get um, different kinds of uh, tools that you can run like junk this cleanup will junk files un uninstall uh, software elements all these things will clear and then here's a data usage you can specify the data cap and all and then you here you'll get message block call block and ball blocking especially this here is the permissions apps auto launch apps notification manager app permission manager default apps settings and then power ranking smart doors so this is like a all-in-one manage center then here is system you can find calculator recorder all these things so overall this is like a very neatly built ROM for OnePlus 3 and if you are interested in MIUI kind of interface or iOS kind of interface, I'll definitely recommend you guys to try this one. If you want to know how to install this Hydrogen OS on OnePlus 3, please check out the links below. That's it guys, thanks for watching, please subscribe for more.